So I heard something surprising today. Did you know that some loan officers are not actually pulling credit until much later in the process, typically right before closing, maybe a week before closing? That surprised me too. The problem I see with this, if you pull a soft pull, which is not a true credit report at the beginning of the process, and you process the loan with the soft credit pool with the idea that later in the process, you're going to go ahead and repool the credit. What if something happens in the meantime where at the beginning of the process, you would have had good credit scores at the end of the process, something may have happened to have lowered your credit score. So you could have been late on a payment. A new collection could have popped up on your credit report. There's a number of different things that could happen from the beginning of the process to the end of the process that would wind up hurting your credit scores. Now, the reality is if they had pulled a full true credit report at the very beginning, that credit report is good for 120 days. And it really doesn't matter too much what happens 120 days from the beginning when you pull the credit report until the 120 days. Usually it doesn't take 120 days to close from the beginning where you pull the credit report to the end where you wind up closing. So the reason that they do this, the reason that loan officers are looking to pull a soft pull at the beginning and then do the true credit report at the end is twofold. One is credit reports are increasing. So it's less expensive to do the soft credit pool than it is the full credit pool. And not all credit pools turns into loans or even purchase agreements. And so a lot of those soft credit pools that they take a look at, they never move forward. So there's never any issue. However, on the percentage of those that do move forward, you're putting the buyer and the real estate agent at risk. And so I've made the decision in our branch that while we can take a look at a soft credit pool if the borrower wants to see what's going on before they actually have their credit pulled, we're not going to move forward with the purchase agreement, order the appraisal, and submit a file into underwriting without the full credit report being pulled so that when we begin the process at the very beginning, we know exactly what we're dealing with and we know that we're good for 120 days and we don't have to worry about a surprise popping up at the last minute while everyone is all excited, made plans on moving into their new home and getting everything taken care of with a closing. So 